So this is a true-to-life Dr. House MD medical thriller. When we're first introduced to Susanna Cahalan, she's a 20-something reporter for the New York Post, when one week she notices two tiny red dots on her arm. Absolutely certain it's bed bugs, she hires an exterminator to examine her apartment, and when he comes up empty, she still insists that he fumigate the entire place. Meanwhile at work, she's having a hard time concentrating, is having sort of mild mood swings, and vacillates between bouts of euphoria and feelings of inadequacy at work, a bit of an imposter syndrome, and nothing too remarkable. Frankly, that's me on any given week. But the paranoia is starting to mount. She's starting to snoop in her boyfriend's email account, absolutely certain he's been cheating on her. And she's having bouts of numbness, delusions, hearing voices, having out-of-body experiences, intense hallucinations. She's absolutely certain she can age people with her mind, and it's all starting to sound like someone spiked her breakfast omelets with a hefty dose of shrooms. But visits to the doctor come up empty. Her MRIs come back clean. Blood tests find nothing. Doctors are simply dismissing it as too much stress, maybe a little bit of anxiety. One especially helpful doctor wags his finger and is absolutely certain that this is just the result of her clearly drinking and partying too much. But things are getting worse. Susanna is absolutely certain now that her father has killed her mother and she almost leaps out of a second story window. Later, she will try and jump out of a moving car. And then one evening at her boyfriend's home, she erupts in this massive seizure with blood and foam filling her mouth and then proceeds to descend into a month of darkness. Susan Cahalan applies a reportedly acumen to uncover what happens in the ensuing month. She relies on medical records, her own frantic scribblings at the time, video footage and countless interviews with friends, family, and medical professionals who would eventually piece together what was happening to her and give it a name, NDMA autoimmune encephalitis. Okay, so some of you are probably screaming spoilers here, but I mean, this is a work of nonfiction. The subhead is My Month of Madness. Um, you could pretty safely assume that the author made it out to the other side. And let me tell you, it is no less compelling knowing that. This is truly a real life episode of House. While cutting edge diagnostic equipment and countless doctor visits had come up empty, it is a simple pencil and paper test administered by one Dr. Sahel Najjar that leads to the path of discovery. And Susanna Cahalan understands how truly lucky she is. Lucky that her and her family were in a position to afford treatment that would run up to well over a million dollars by the time it was done. Lucky that her parents refused to dismiss it as schizophrenia, mental illness, or take the word of one especially stubborn doctor that wanted to dismiss it as her being a party girl that had overindulged. Lucky that when it happened, had it happened even two years earlier, there would have been research in place to properly diagnose her, and lucky truly to have run into Dr. Sahel Najjar. Centuries earlier, Susanna might have been considered possessed in need of an exorcism. In fact, symptoms of autoimmune encephalitis parallel that of the exorcist, including deep in vocal affect, rigid body postures, and evidence of a patient crab walking. Susanna's boyfriend still can't watch The Exorcist after having witnessed several intense episodes. Cahalan is a reporter of the old school and she gets her hooks into you early. She's unflinching in her reportage even when she herself is the subject and it makes for an intense read. Lives have been saved as a result of this book. Often misdiagnosed, she shines a light on a very rare disease. Thanks to Mariana Neal from Impression Blend for the Goodreads recommendation. It's been sitting on my TBR for a while, but that nudge also knowing that it premiered at TIFF recently, finally got me to pick up the book, and I'm glad that I did. The movie stars Chloe Grace Moretz and is getting critically savage, so do yourself a favor and read the book instead. You'll be glad you did. In the meantime, keep reading, and we'll talk to you soon.